Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to sublimate these lunch tote bags. So let's get started. Alright, so what you will need to uh, do this project will be a uh, tote bag. You can get those on Amazon. You're going to need a press pillow. Uh, you definitely need a press pillow because if you don't use one, this is what's going to happen. That's without a press pillow, this is with one. You need a lint roller. You're going to need, obviously, a design. Now, we printed out these designs on um, an AT15000. If you don't have a printer that big, you can splash your designs or you can just print a smaller design that will just fit in the center of the bag right there. Also you're going to need butcher paper and obviously a heat press. So the first thing we're going to do is trim these designs down a little bit. I've made printed out two, one for each side. Now if you want to you can have a different design on each side but we're going to use the same design on each side. So let me trim these down. Now I printed these uh, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. That way I'll have uh, a little bit of the image hanging over the sides of the bag. And remember that when you, uh, the image you're going to, it's not going to take the whole image. You're going to have parts of your image that's not going to show up on the bag. So that's why I cut the whole size big enough to where what I do want to show on the bag is going to show. So we're going to trim these down. I don't really have a template for this. I didn't make one. I just decided to print the image bigger and what doesn't show doesn't show. So like I said I've got two of these. Okay so what we're going to do is you're going to heat up your heat press it's going to be set at 400 for 70 seconds. That's what you're going to press. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 70 seconds. So while this is heating up, we need to kind of uh, press our bag a little bit. Try and get some wrinkles out of it. Now I really don't like these too much to be honest with you because the ends of them fold over like this. And it's kind of hard to get them to where they need to be at. So I'm going to try and press this. Well, uh, kind of smooth it out a little bit. And you only have to press them for maybe 10, 15 seconds. And we're just trying to smooth the wrinkles out of it. And you don't have to use butcher paper or anything right now because I'm not uh, sublimating. I'm just trying to press them like I would with an iron or so. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. Get the other side. <coughs> Try and pull these corners out. But it's kind of hard to do. So I'm afraid that when we sublimate these, we're probably going to have some white showing on the corners. But there's not really too much we can do about it. It's just the way the bag is made. So I'm just right now just trying to smooth them out a little bit. Get the wrinkles out. Like I said, about 10-15 seconds for each side. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take a lint roller. Let's make sure we got our lint off of the bag. As you can see this corner does not want to straighten out. Probably when we press this that corner is going to be white right there. Okay. Now once you have it lint rolled we're going to have to put a press pillow in here because if you don't this is what's going to happen. Because of this because there's a seam, up yeah, there. there's a seam in there and it stops mm -hmm. this part from pressing. So this one here is just a little bit too big. It's 10 by 10. 
but I think if I would have got an 8x8 eight eight, it would have been too small so I'm gonna place this in here the best I can and what you want to do is just push it down to where it meets the seam right here you don't need to put it up over it just so it, that when you press it it's even just like that okay now once I have that I'm gonna take my butcher paper and I'm gonna put it down on the bottom here for the the blow out. We'll take our bag. And she will have blowout since that design's made bigger. Yep, you're gonna have some blowout. We'll take our bag and kind of center it the best you can in here. Take your design. If you want to, you can like easy tack it on there, but I just but it's big enough to where I can just if I've got it centered in the press here, I can just pretty much guess where I want it to be on the back. Like that. Then I'm going to take this other sheet of books of paper, place it over the top. Now make sure you check your pressure before you try to do this. I have to raise it up quite a bit so this would close. Thick. Yeah, they're really thick. And you want kind of a medium pressure. So, medium to heavy, because I'm trying to smash that down flat. So we'll let this run 70 seconds, and uh, we'll continue from there. All right, we're down to five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and open this in just a second here. All right, time is up. Go ahead and open this. Make sure you've got your gloves on. These get pretty hot. That guy off of here. And here's one side. Oh, that's cute. And like I thought, the corner, you do have some where it's folded under there. It's not getting that corner under there. But see how the press pillow prevents this. It's pressed it all the way across. So now we're just going to flip this over. Set it back on our heat press. Did you already lint roll that side? Yeah. Okay. I did lint roll it, but we'll just do it again just to double check. <clears throat> yeah, I'm afraid this corner right here may not press too well because it rolls under there. But we can only do what we can do. So we're going to go ahead and center this back on there. So I just want to make sure it was the right way. It's the right way. I'm not saying that I haven't sublimated upside down before. That's why I double check this sometimes. Right. I'm going to put this paper on here. Press it down again. And we'll continue in 70 seconds. Alright, we've got five seconds left. Get down to zero. We'll open her up. Okay. Go ahead and shut this off. And it smokes. Yeah, it smells. There's a weird smell to it. But the smell goes away after a while. So here's this side. That's smoking. So here's the uh, end result. It's still smoking. It's pretty warm. Mm -hmm. But you can see the press pillow makes a big difference. And that's all there is to it, really. It's not that hard. So uh, hopefully you uh, like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. I have a lot of other how-to videos. And uh, if you have any comments, I, be, I read all the comments. So leave your comments, uh, suggestions, ideas. Maybe you got a better way to, to get the corners to... So you can see this corner right here. I didn't get it all the way. Right. So if you have any comments, just put them in the remarks, and uh, thanks for watching.